My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the Feast of St. Matthew. And on this feast day, I cannot help but always, like many, call to mind the famous painting by Caravaggio of this episode we hear in today's gospel of the calling of St. Matthew. The reason I always think of this is that some of the most striking conversation pieces around this painting link so theologically with the what's at the heart of the gospel passage today, as well as how it applies to today's world. And that is, and I'm hopefully, uh, as this video is produced, hopefully overlaying and showing an image of the painting uh, right here. But while there are many fascinating aspects, it's a very deep work, the two that often get discussed the most are the question of the identity of Matthew in the painting. Traditionally, the, the bearded man pointing was always considered to be Matthew, but some have questioned whether instead of the man pointing at himself, if he's pointing at the, the man with his head down at the end of the table. Uh, this has been a more modern question. But nonetheless, there's the question of identity. Uh, is the man pointing as if to say, who me or who him? In any way, there's the questioning of the calling. The second is the way in which Christ's hand is postured in the painting. And that is that it's strikingly reminiscent of the posture of Adam's hand in the creation of Adam, the famous work of Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel, as God calls forth Adam, the two hands coming together. This seems to point to Jesus as the second Adam, as he's established in the New Testament. Why do I bring all of this up? The reason I find this interesting is that we hear in today's gospel that Jesus comes, calls a tax collector, so he goes into, if you will, kind of the den of sinners, those outcast by the Jewish people, and he calls, he calls uh, Matthew forward, calls Levi, gives him a new name, calls Matthew. And everyone is shocked. Why are you consorting with tax collectors and sinners? I've come to call not the righteous, but sinners. In a world that's obsessed with identity politics today, the question seems to be of what is my identity? Who gets to decide what my identity is? But when we hear these words, I've come to call not the righteous, but sinners. The sick need a physician. How you know, healthy people don't need a physician, but the sick do. Christ in this comes in as the second Adam. Adam, who through his fall into sin, was estranged from God and cast all of human condition into this depravity. Jesus comes as the second Adam, the one to set things right. And so in Jesus, we find not only God calling us, but God also showing us the way. To, the recreate, to recreation. Jesus calls us forth into our proper identity, not that which is disfigured and lost, but as beloved sons and daughters of God. And so he comes to call us. What is our identity beyond that of a beloved son or daughter of God? Our identity is what God calls us to. Not what I choose, not what the world decides for me, but God's calling. His calling to you and I is central to our identity. We are each called, and as we hear in the first reading, as Paul says, we are called in different ways. Some as apostles, some as evangelists, some as this and that. Yes, our callings aren't all the same, but central to each and every one of us is that we are beloved and we are called and sent. Only when we identify, when we discern this call, when we respond to the invitation of God, do we find ourselves fully alive? We find ourselves fully in the identity of who we are created to be. Anything less than this, we continue to be disfigured. We are fallen Adam. But Jesus has come to set us free, to lead us to his Father's house. And in this, our call is renewed. My brothers and sisters, today is about the calling of St. Matthew, apostle and evangelist, but it helps to spotlight the spotlight the calling of each and every one of us, that we are called, and that only in our response can we find the fullness of who we are. Our identity is not out there somewhere. Our identity is right here, what God reveals it to be. We are loved. We are called. 
until we answer that call, we will never be the fullness of ourselves. St. Matthew, pray for us.